Geminis. Welcome to the second half of the November love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gems, all kinds of little messages came in for you. Like always, I get a lot of little <laughs> channelings for you guys, and I always end up talking too much. But anyway, Geminis. Um, the first thing I heard, I think someone's getting a Reiki session done because I heard get comfortable, and then I heard let it wash over you. Let it wash over you. If it's not a Reiki session, it's definitely a cleansing. Oh, 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 okay. Some of you guys are going to baptism. Okay, that's cool. Um, I was like, oh, I just got a flash of that. Um, Geminis, I feel like you're cleansing yourself right now. Um, I feel like you've been spending time in hermit mode or you're about to go into hermit mode. Keep in mind, we work energy differently. Some of you are just starting, some of you are just ending this, okay? Um, I did also see off-roading. Someone wants to try off-roading for the first time. Someone feels like they'll really, really like it. I do think you're right. I think it's going to become a big hobby of yours. Um, but Gemini, sorry, back to you. Back to you. That just was a little something that had to come out. I did see the vulture. So I just want to hang in your energy for a while. I did see the vulture. Uh, and more of that cleansing energy. That's been, going, that's been going around like a bad case of the cold. It's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. Um, but yeah, the vulture. It's very scorpionic. I, I feel like there's a big... A change within that you're going through right now uh through self-reflection through self-reflection um you know what to do you know what to do you're realizing you know what to do a gemini that's made a decision <laughs> oh boy Okay, Gemini, so you've come to a consensus about something and you know what to do. I did also hear the hunt is on. The hunt is on. The hunt is about seeking. And I feel like that's what you've been doing in hermit mode. And again, some of you are going into this as opposed to coming out of it. You're all in different spots in this, Gemini. Um, I'm also seeing a book. What is this? Sorry, I'm just playing with the cards here while I'm still in your energy. Ooh, interesting. The nine of wands and the two wands that just came out here. So it's funny, I was saying, the hunt is on it's about seeking i feel a little bit of like looking forward looking on looking onwards trying to see trying to seek a little bit with that but with that nine of wands it's like i feel like that's a block you've been blocked gemini and i think you're realizing that i think that's also why you're cleansing or i, I really feel strongly because you guys are getting reiki here um i think water is actually going to be really beneficial for you gemini's to be in bodies of water try to take spiritual baths if you can <sighs> You want to be unbothered, but you want to be unbothered? You want to be, but you can't help it. Something's bothering you. And I think it's because you're trying to come to a decision on something. And you will, like I said, I, I heard, I know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. Bring me back to the book. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I know, Gemini's. Um, bring me back to the book. Some of you, it's, it's about the Akashic Records. The two of wands really wants to come out, came out again. Um, some of this is about the Akashic Records. You're, you're gaining more hidden knowledge, Gemini. You're gaining more hidden knowledge, whether that's three-dimensionally or spiritually, Knight of Wands, you will know what to do and you will be on the move, on the hunt. What's this hunting energy? That's all I was getting from the book. It's like access to hidden knowledge, whether it's just three-dimensional, you know, things coming out to the light in your life. I feel like that's happening after your cleansing, so to speak. Um, or you're just, you're accessing the Akashic Records, um, or you're understanding more of the ways of the universe. Very Geminian. Um, what is this hunt? I'm, like, I'm literally seeing like a pack of dogs, like an actual hunt here. Okay. Are you hunting someone, something? I'm like, it's almost feeling very, um, what's the word? That's so weird. I got the word visceral, but that was not the word I was going to use. I was going to say hungry um primal following your instincts here whoa ho, ho, ho. gemini's two of swords and the uh ten of pentacles i'm just in your energy just playing with the cards right now guys um but two of swords and the ten of pentacles i would say you're definitely hunting for that wow and then we have the chariot again no knight of wands again but with the chariot yeah you're really on the move you're really on the hunt here you're seeking out your ten of pentacles you're seeking out your stability what your path is what your purpose is a lot of you are in this place where Whatever transformation you're going through internally, which I think is due to this cleansing as well, um, this vulture energy, it's made you change your perspective and now you know what to do. When a Gemini has a change of perspective, they have to change a lot of things accordingly. So Gemini is whatever this change of perspective is that you are coming into, 
it's forcing you to change other things and now you know how to how to do it. Now you know how to handle it. Now you know how to get to your 10 of pentacles, your purpose, your path. It feels like you're trying to think like 20 years in advance right now. See if anything else wants to come through before you end the pre-shuffle. Golfer. What? <laughs> Maybe some of you golf. Maybe some of you golf. Um, Target. Oh, no. Target. Oh, that's what that's about. Target. Not only do you have, not only have you had to change your perspective, Gemini's, um, and you're on the hunt and you know what to do, you know how to handle it. It's also an energy of like having to shoot your shot. Like, um, now I know my target. I've changed my perspective to a new target. I know what to do. And there it is, the hunt. Okay. Okay, Gemini. I think that's pretty good. Let's get into your pre-shuffle. Let's get into your pre-shuffle. For those of you who are new to my channel and new to tarot, um, I'm no longer doing my intro here, but if you have any questions or curiosities on how to interpret things that I'm telling you um, or how to just interpret tarot in general, you have a lot of questions about that stuff or energy work, there's a link below to how to interpret tarot things as a viewer. Please check it out. I think it's highly informative, okay? All right, Gemini. So let's get into your pre-shuffle here. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep in mind, Gemini, all those messages I was getting could be pertaining to people in your life, in your environment, or people you're energetically attached to, okay? Like someone you're pining for. <laughs> could be their energy. Oh, let's see. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Now I'm seeing a torch. I feel like it's very much Ace of Wands, very Ace of Wands energy. Which of, I've got a lot of newbies watching me. Um, it's Ace of Wands energy. It's it's new. It's, insp it's inspiration. It's creation. Um, it's passion. It's pa oh, 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 that made me tingle. Passion. Passion, Gemini. It's passion. You've got your passion going right now. Passion is really high for you right now. Once you once you come into this change of perspective and you get comfortable with it and you know the changes you have to make accordingly. Something has changed at the core of you. Something's changed at the core of you, Gemini. Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Ooh, that's a fat stack. But we'll take it. This is still just the pre-shuffle, guys. Wow. Page of Swords in reverse. Two of Pence in reverse. Magician in reverse. Jeez. And then we have uh, Three of Pentacles. Wow. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Wands. Uh, and then the Sun. Oh. Oh, why does this feel chaotic? I just heard Leo. Gemini. I, I, this feels very chaotic. Very, very chaotic. Page of Swords in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse and Magician in reverse. Very trickstery energy. I'm getting a lot of lies as well. I'm just getting chaos with this. Someone has has brought in chaos, okay? And I think that's why you've had to change your perspective. I think that or you've had. That's why. That's why you've had to change your perspective. That's why there's something that's changed at the core of you. Someone's brought so much chaos to your life. It's been very destructive is what I'm getting. It's been very destructive and it's been destroying something within you. But in it almost like... Oh, come back there we go i feel like something within you has been like disintegrating or disintegrated from this chaos that you've been experiencing externally or from this person in particular and you just want your balance and freedom i just heard freedom you just want your balance and your freedom let's see what else wants to come out here please record any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the last half of november it feels like a very spiritual read gemini it feels like a very spiritual read <laughs> and there's the ace of wands in reverse though in reverse yeah whatever this chaos is it's really dimmed your fire it's really dimmed your light it's really dimmed your inspiration your hunger i heard hunger uh some of you might be having um changes in your in uh your appetite actually changes in your appetite changes in your eating you might want to watch the pisces reading if you know the pisces you have that in your chart um because i i'm not liking this energy your appetite has changed, but I think that's because your eating habits have changed, but it doesn't necessarily feel healthy. It's almost like an extreme from like binging to starving. Like it's an extreme switch. And it could be because of depression or the chaos that you are having to uh, deal with here, Gemini. 
Why am I doing this? Um, it's also making you very anxious. It's also making you very anxious. Gemini, it just seems like you're in, a, you're in an environment or a situation that is not conducive to, to your, your mental health. Okay, that's what it feels like. I feel like your anxiety is high. Your appetite has changed. Uh, your eating habits have changed drastically and they're extreme. Like there's no like balance to it it's like extreme for those who are in this situation or if this is someone you're connecting to or someone you know gemini yeah i'm not liking that i'm not liking that let's see oh wow this could be a possible reconciliation here possible reconciliation six of cups in reverse with judgment something from the past that was really unfortunate or really unfortunate soulmate connection here um It's a bad deed. I just heard bad deed. Oh, that's weird. Very strange. Hair font on the bottom, by the way. A bad deed needs to be called into question. A bad deed, ne deed needs to be addressed. Needs to be addressed. I do feel your past is bubbling up here, Gemini. It's, it's chaos. It's chaos. Whatever this chaos is that is coming into your life, Gemini, that you've been dealing with, it's changed a lot of who you are. And because of that, it's changed a lot of your perspectives on what's best for you. Yeah, I think even just how you look at relationships, how you look at life, this feels really, really, barely big for some of my Geminis. And you're just like, no, like, like you're, you're realizing you're coming to terms that you can't stay in it anymore. And because of that, it's changed a lot of who you are internally and you're cleansing yourself, you're detoxing yourself. Some could actually be going to rehab here. Um, and some, I'm, I'm still getting that Reiki energy. And after that, you'll know exactly what to do. And you're going to go on the hunt for what you want. Because you'll know what you want and what's in your best interest, what's in your highest good, and what's healthy. Health is really highlighted right now, Gemini. Okay. Well, I'm getting sucked into all this shit, Gemini. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November? Getting February and March. February is going to be a big month, guys. Oh my God. I've been getting that for like every freaking reading. Um, February is going to be a really big month. I looked at it. I might do a video on it. Anyway. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November? these cards are not wanting to shuffle Gemini you might have been experiencing like an energy of just total lethargy or like being totally stuck and not wanting to move almost like holding shit together in such a an, an anxious way like like I'm, I'm gripping on I'm barely holding shit together I'm barely holding shit together if I move if I change one thing it could all fall apart like that kind of energy any messages for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November? I'm hearing spots. Spots? Spots? Some of you guys are having some health issues. I'm sorry. It's like they keep bringing up health for me. Spots. Something about spots. Please get that checked. <laughs> Please get that checked. Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. So, yeah, waking up, like I said, it's like I know what to do. I know what to do. I know I, I know my perspectives have changed. I've settled into them. I understand now what I want, what's in my highest good, what's healthy, health, 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 what's healthy for me, and I know what to do. And then time to hunt, interesting. Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini? Oh boy, King of Wands in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse. And then we've got the Eight of Pence in reverse. This is Leo energy. Could also be air or fire here. Uh, ooh, yeah, this, ooh, yeah, I don't like it. Um, Gemini, this is someone who's very fly by night, someone who's very knock rounded, um, aimless. I am hearing aimless, aimless. Okay. Is this an energy you're getting out of? I feel like this is an energy you're getting out of. This is an energy you are getting out of. It's an aimless energy. And I think because you had such chaos around you, it's been hard for you to think straight, especially because you've been changing a lot internally. And I feel like that even caught you by surprise is what they're telling me. That even caught you by surprise. Any messages for Gemini? 
Any messages for Gemini? The moon! Piscean energy can also be Cancerian for me as a reader. I love that this came out here. I almost feel like the moon, the moon is saving you. That's weird. The moon is saving you. Um, and getting intuition off of it. Intuition and spirituality. Intuition and spirituality. It's almost like the moon is guiding you. Uh, a moon cycle might play a very significant role in this for you, Gemini. The moon is guiding you. Why is it starting to feel like a person? So a lot of intuition and emotion coming off of this card here, but I, I feel like they keep saying the moon, like the moon, like gui moon's guiding. The moon is guiding you. The moon is guiding you, Gemini. I'm I'm starting to think this is actually representing a person, which is very strange, very strange. Could it be a Cancer or a Pisces, but not necessarily. It's someone who's intuitive and very spiritual. They're guiding you. Any messages for Gemini? That's your target. Thank you. That's your target. That's your target. That's your target. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? Oh, we're clarifying the shit out of this moon card first. <laughs> Any messages for Gemini? Oh, that's it. Overall energy. We do have Page of Cups. Mm. There's the reaching out. A reaching out, a message, an offer. Very genuine. Feels very, very, very genuine. I'm also hearing be kind to yourself, Gemini. Be kind to yourself. Uh, Gemini, I really feel strongly this is a, a person. That's so weird. A moon card is a person. I really feel like this is actually a, acting as a person, a human being here. And I feel like you're waking up to your aimlessness, to the chaos around you and how things within yourself have changed and the things you need to do to change it. This is you being aimless, but you're waking up on, on how to fix that. And I feel like you're heading to this individual. They're acting as like a guide, almost like a spotlight. I would think that'd be the sun, but uh, it could be a female. Moons are feminine. Moons are feminine energy. It doesn't have to be. We read energies, not gender. But let's look at this moon card because that is like so intriguing. Uh, I'm really loving this haunted deck. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Gemini. Tell me the moon for Gemini. Keep in mind, guys, it can be vice versa. Tell me the moon for Gemini. Regarding love for last half of November. I feel like the last week of November is going to be very significant to you, Gemini, as opposed to just the last half. I feel like a lot of action is going to take place during the last week of November. Tell me about the moon for Gemini. Regarding love for last half of November. Yay, yay. Hold on. Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm so short. Whoa. Five of Wands, Leo energy. I'm getting a lot of anger here. I feel like there's people around Gemini. I feel like you're having a hard time getting to your target because there's a lot of people around them. There's a lot of people around this person. Whether it's it's competition or it's it's like a social network. There's a lot of people. These people could be around you blocking your exit or they could be people around this person blocking your entrance. I feel like blocking your entrance. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Gemini regarding love for the last half of November. Tell me about the moon. This could even be your mother, honestly. This could even be your mother. It's a very, it's a very intuitive, very like Queen of Cups kind of energy. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Yeah, you feel blocked from this person. You feel like it's hard to get through. It's hard to get in. Again, this hunting, hunting. These people could be hunting the same person. Oh, <laughs> who is this? Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. I feel like this is your energy, Gemini. You're trying to come in. You are. You're trying to come to this person, but it's almost like they're surrounded by people, surrounding by, surrounded by energies. I feel like this is you trying to stand out amongst these people. You just feel blocked off from them. You definitely feel blocked off from them here. Time at the moon. Tell me about the moon for Gemini. Magician. 
Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini, Cosby, Aquarius, Scorpio from music reader, divine masculine energy. I, I feel like you're trying to you're trying to manifest you're trying you're trying to manifest your entrance into this in, well to this person. Yeah, I was about to say into this person. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's just an energy. I don't feel like it's acting as a person. I feel like it's the energy of manifestation here. It's almost like manifestation is just trying to say, look, I'm over here. <laughs> I'm a big part of this. Like, I feel like that's all, like, all that's all it is. I don't feel like it's a person. It's just an, the energy of manifestation is at play between you and this person. Talk about the moon. Wow. Now we have a page of pentacles. Could be an age difference. Could be an age difference. Page of Pentacles is the energy of reflection. Also reaching out. A reaching out like an olive branch here. And a, a trying to understand. Gemini's, I really feel strongly that you're doing manifesting. It's like, yeah, like manifestation is here. It's just here. As you're trying to get past these people. Ah, come on. As you're trying to get past these people here. This is a big theme for a lot of people right now. Of this whole waking up and trying to come close to somebody. Um, but that's what I'm getting with that. Talk about the moon. Talk about the moon. Six of swords. Aquarian energy. So forward movement. You might actually have to travel here. You might actually have to travel to get to this person. Yeah, I'm just getting movement. Movement, movement, movement. And then this blocked energy of the five of wands and the two of swords. You. It's almost like you feel like they don't see you. Like you feel like they don't even see you there. Because here you are on the move trying to make this offer to them, trying to extend outward, and you're trying to manifest being around them, being close to them, having them in your life, and you keep hitting this wall of other people. Tell me about the moon. Let's see, overall energy, interesting. Three of swords in reverse, Libra energy, healing energies. Underneath that, we do have e seven of cups. <laughs> Scorpionic energy here. Like I said, I feel like this person's got a lot of people around them. They have a lot of people around them. You don't like that? I can tell you don't like that. I feel like I'm talking to very masculine Geminis here. So for my feminine Geminis, it's most likely vice versa. Um, the three of swords in a verse with the seven of cups. You're trying to not be bothered that they've got options and a lot of people around them. You're trying not to be. You feel like they're not. Yeah, you feel like they're not even looking at you. You feel like they're not even looking at you like they don't even see you. Sorry, I like, she's on a rock. Why is that sticking out to me? She's on a rock. I don't know why that's sticking out to me. I think I think that's going to be a, re a message for somebody. I don't know if you had a vision of yourself on a rock or you, I, I feel like that's for somebody. If you had a, like, if you had a strange vision like that and you don't know what it's about, I think this reading's for you, okay? Um, that's like, that's sticking out to me, but I'm like, yeah, she's just sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> she's just sitting there. Um. But that's what I'm getting with this person. I kind of want to get more, though. Uh, I want to look at the Knight of Pentacles here. See what you're trying to offer. Like I said, Gemini's, it can be vice versa. Um, do a Lenormand deck with this one. I could reach it. <laughs> there we go. Tell about the Knight of Pentacles. For Gemini, tell about the Knight of Pentacles. For Gemini. Wow. Ooh, we got the heart. Love, Knight of Cups. So we got Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Cups coming off of this card. 24 breaking down to a six, balance and harmony. Heart, literally, love. They're coming to offer this person love. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and yeah, oh, see, you feel like you have to be smart about it. Because you keep running into this block of other people. Uh, nine of wands, 14, breaking down to a five. Uh, the fox is just a clever energy. It's like sneakiness, wittiness, cleverness. Like I can get around from the back door, like that kind of energy. It's not always treacherous. It's just like a sneaky, quiet, smart kind of energy here. Yeah, it's almost like, Gemini, you feel like you have to go in through the back door. Like, sorry. <laughs> Some of you guys are going in the gutter with that. I could just feel it because you keep hitting the, this wall of other people. You feel like you can't get in, so you're trying to figure out a way in. Talk about the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Whoa. Interesting. Interesting. 
I <laughs> oh we got the fish it's funny I was like we we're talking about treachery there's treachery uh we have the fish with the key and the snake here you don't like the people around this person is what I'm getting with that I also feel like you're trying to escape your own people, Gemini. This is interesting. Uh, you guys must be, I think you guys are mirroring each other a little bit here. Because um, you're you're coming in, trying to heal the situation with this person, which tells me you have a history with them. Um, but you don't like the people around them, and you, the people around you are causing chaos. That's what I'm getting with the snake. It's just like chaos around both of you, treachery around both of you, and you can see it. That's also why you're trying to be sneaky. I think that's also why you're trying to be sneaky. Like you're not trying to alert the, the mob, essentially. And the key with the fish, fish is an energy of like currency, money, also emotion. Emotion key is unlocking that, unlocking that. You feel like these people are after your after this person for either their money um, or their resources. I'm hearing resources. Doesn't always have, resources don't have to be money. It can also just be emotional waters, right? Like energy vampires. Yeah, because they've got options. They do have a lot of people around them. And you just look at them like, wow, they're just after that person's money. They're just after that person's emotions. But you're after their heart. <laughs> but you're after their heart. Anyway, sorry, I couldn't help but go there. All right, let's see what else wants to come out for the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm at the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Some of the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini regarding love. Ay, ay, ay. And there's the female, 29, bringing down to 11. I really felt like, I felt that with the moon, like a feminine person, a feminine energy with the Ace of Swords, truth. And then we have the block, Eight of Wands, 21, bringing down to three, blocks in communication because you can't get to this person because of the people around them. You feel like this person's blocked off from you. Oh. But then we get the star and the compass. The star is quite literally very equivalent to the star in tarot. It's It's destiny, it's healing. It's a blessing. Compass is about heading in the right direction. You're looking at this person, this moon person, like I got to get in through the back door because of love or I want to I want to steal their hearts. Well, other people want their money or their emotional healing waters, but I'm so blocked off from this person. But they're my true direction. That's my path. That's my target. Wow. And on the bottom, we have the letter communication. You just want to talk to them. You want to talk to them to make this offer here. Offer of cup and pentacle, which is beautiful. That's stability and love. And like I said, Gemini's can be vice versa. I feel like a lot of you guys keep asking me that. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So let's go further into this. So like I said, Gems, you were dealing with your own chaos, changing internally because of it, changing your perspective, now changing your path because now you know what to do. Now you've settled into your new perspective. You have your target. You're on the hunt here, trying to outwit or get around from the crowd of people around this person. I know I'm exaggerating a little bit. It's probably like one or two people that's blocking you from this person. But anyway, this is you being aimless before you wake up, okay? So I'm not interested really in looking at this because you're getting out of this. You're getting out of this. I'm interested in the wake up. I'm interested in the, I know what to do. So let's look at the hangman in reverse and then we'll pull some oracle cards. Mm. Crystal visions. Some of the hangman in reverse. Some of the hangman in reverse. For Gemini regarding love. Some of the hangman in reverse. For Gemini regarding love. Tell me about the hangman in reverse for Gemini. It's so funny because wasn't it? Sorry, I'm being drawn back over to this moon person here. Whoever this is, Gemini, like I said, feels like a very feminine energy, very, very intuitive energy. There's a big pull there. It's like they act, they're acting almost like as a guide, as like, I can see it. I can see this person, big ass spotlight. That's obviously my path. I'm guided to go there. And with this compass and the star, it's that same kind of energy, right? Like being guided to your moon, to your star. It's like very cosmic terminology here um, with the way you look at this person or how you feel about this person. Talk about the hangman in reverse. Talk about the hangman in reverse. For Gemini regarding love, the last half of November. Talk about the hangman in reverse. 
Return of the Hangman in Reverse for Gemini regarding love for last half of November. Let's see here. Ow. Four cups in reverse. Can't stir in energy with the lovers, Gemini. Realizing that there's a really amazing connection here, definitely spiritual, all the spiritual cards we've had in spiritual terminology, uh, that's been rejected. Yeah, Gemini's, you know this person, you have a history with them. Um, I know what to do. More like, I know what to do because I realize now what I did. Time with the hangman in reverse. Time with the hangman in reverse. Time with the hangman in reverse for Gemini. Regarding love for the last half of November. Wow, and there's the magician. There's you trying to manifest shit. <laughs> magician. Anyway, mercurial energy, right? So Virgo and Gem. Could also be Aqua Scorp for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Yeah. This is the do. This is, I realized what I did. I realized what I have to do. <laughs> wow, I love it. Freaking love it. See what else comes out here. Some of the hangman in reverse. Time with the hangman in reverse for Gemini. And that nine of wands, Sag energy, persistence. Persistence and will, I'm getting will, strength of will. You're not gonna let this person go. You know your target, hunt is on. You're in it to win it. Or this person, you're in it to win this person. Time about hangman in reverse. Time about hangman in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy, healing. Yeah, I re I don't know what happened between the two of you other than it was clearly rejected. And the fact that you're heading to this person seems like you did the rejecting. They could have rejected you. That could have happened. They could have rejected you. But the fact that you're very determined here um, to come in, heal the situation, uh, talk to this person, even like you know, just take the back back entrance uh, to this person here. I don't like, okay, stop it. <laughs> can, I can hear you guys. I can hear you guys. Stop it. Um, tells me that it's it's definitely, you know, that you, you definitely rejected them, okay? On the bottom, six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. You want to figure out how to move towards them, but you're not doing that quite yet here, okay? You will. You have to have that that I know what to do before you can move, right? This is, I'm figuring my shit out. I'm getting settled into my new perspective. I know I need to get away from the chaos. How do I feel about this? Ah, I know what to do. And again, I'm getting this like, I know what to do because now I know what I actually did. It's almost like getting the answers by going back and examining the, what happened already. Once you realize what you actually did, which is rejecting an amazing spiritual connection, then you go into action mode. Oh, well, I know how to fix this then. Very Gemini. <laughs> Very Gemini. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some advice, Geminis. Hey. Oh, that's weird. What did I just pull? So I <laughs> I was trying to grab this deck, and underneath I have all my decks like stacked, and I accidentally pulled two cards from the Shaman deck. Rainmaker and Eagle. The Hunt. Look at that. Is that not such a hunting energy of like I'm coming in to snatch? The rain, ma the rain macker, the rain maker is a manifestation energy. Hmm, Gemini's. I'm also seeing pro progression because we have six to the seven. Yeah, sorry, that just that just had to come out to really emphasize that. Yeah, you're really working really hard to manifest um, being able to talk to this person, uh, being able to get close to this person, and mostly because you have your target insights and you're on the hunt here. Insight. Someone else had the eagle this today. Someone else had the eagle and it was a fire sign. Or was it an air sign? No, I think it was Sag. I think it was Sag, which, which would make sense, Gemini, because Sag is your one seven. So your natural counterpart energy is also in like, is also being exposed to this. I'll say it that way. Exposed because it's energy. So it's fluid, right? Anyway, anyway, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. Any advice? For my Geminis, any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis 
regarding this spread. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? 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 Ah, Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Energy of eight. Some of you guys might be questioning, like, why, like, why did it take me so long to get to this point? Or, like, why did I have to go through all of that? Why did I have to experience such chaos? Uh, I just heard practical joke. So you're going to feel like Spirit has, a pra has been a big practical joker with you. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming in so strong. Yeah, it's always like, they always play pranks on me. Like, so do you guys feel that way about the universe and how things are turning out in this? Yeah, it's it's a surprise. It's kind of a surprise. Like when you real, I think it happens when you realize what you did before you realize what you have to do because of what you did. When you realize what you did, it's just kind of like, yeah, it was there. It was there. Why didn't I see it? It was there. Why didn't I see it? I'm seeing it now. After yeah, you're only seeing it now because you've changed. Because you you're growing. Because you're you're growing out of your current environment or the people that you're around. That's why you're seeing it now. That's why. Everything happens for a reason, Gemini. Everything happens for a reason. Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Also, guys, it's funny. So usually I start with you, but I started with Aqua today, but as far as air signs are concerned. Um, I was going to do you first, and I could feel such a tug of war between you and Libra, like very similar shit. And I was like, oh, man, I don't know what's going on between Geminis and Libras, but let me go into Aqua first. <laughs> Um, so just keep that in mind. Like I felt a really strong connection there today between Gemini's and Libra's. So that might resonate for you guys. Um, Libra might be very similar to your reading. Any other advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Ah, peacock spirit, let it shine. 46, which is a cyclical energy. So you're, again, it's because you've grown. It's because you've changed, Gemini. You're coming out of who you used to be and you're owning who you are. Okay. Wow, that felt strong. <laughs> Sorry, I got the chills when I said that. You're you're coming out of who you used to be and you're owning who you are. And I just truly, who you truly are, okay? For a lot of you, this was an ego healing process and you let go of some of your ego um, coping mechanisms. Any other advice for my Geminis? Oh, beautiful. Overall, we have whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. <laughs> Two cards with the word mystery on here, okay? Energy of 11. Trusting in the great mystery is exactly how it sounds. It's like everything happens for a reason, Gemini. Everything happens for a reason. Why did it have to be this hard? So you could learn your lessons. So you could come into the person who you really are in the way that you did, okay? It feels like a major, major transformation. It just had to happen this way. It had to happen this way in the time that it had to happen. Um, and just trusting that, trusting that. When you realize who you rejected or who you left behind, whoever this moon person is, like, you're just going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, God damn it, really? Like, that was it? It's like, I feel like some of you guys are even going to hit your head. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. You might laugh at this later, Gemini. Once you, I, I think you're going to, I think you're going to get close to this person again. I think you will. I think you definitely will. I think you'll find your way through the back exit. I think you will. Um, then you can laugh at this. Then you can laugh at this. But it feels like it's it's really beautiful energy. All three of these cards ee, uh, lean towards falling into a safety net kind of an energy, okay? Yeah, you got to work hard to kind of get back into this person's good graces, okay, a little bit. But that's okay. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it'll be fine. Everything will be damned. Okay. All right, Geminis. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and oh, Instagram as well. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, gems. Namaste.